A stuffed turkey breast allows for tender meat surrounded by crisp brown skin and a perfect portion of stuffing in each and every slice. A stuffed turkey breast, it may not be your first thought when you think of Thanksgiving, but for those of you who love just the white meat, this is a great idea. Or maybe you have a small family that you want to feed and you don't want to roast a whole turkey, or even you have a big crowd coming and you can't fit two turkeys in the oven, this recipe I'm sure you're going to love and I hope that maybe you'll try it out this Thanksgiving. So to get started in front of me here, I have a five and a half pound turkey breast. And this is a whole turkey breast. You can see there are both lobes right here in front of me. And this is boneless. So that means that the, the breast bone has been removed. So today I'm gonna show you how to butterfly this turkey breast and roll it up with a delicious stuffing. So the first step in this process is to remove the skin. And all you have to do is take a very sharp knife and glide it in between the skin and the meat of the turkey here. You can certainly ask your butcher to go about this process of butterflying your turkey and removing the skin. No worries there. Now you're not cutting into the meat by any means here. You're just really gliding the knife right where the skin meets the meat. So now we have the skin and we're just gonna set this off to the side. Now you wanna be careful with your knife when you do this. You don't wanna create any holes or punctures in the skin because this is gonna be laid over the top of our rolled turkey and it will create a beautiful presentation. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the breast and you're gonna flip it over and what we need to do now is butterfly it or even it out into an even thickness. And how I like to do that is right where the tenders of the breast are, and if this was a chicken breast, these would be the lovely chicken tenders that we all love, but the turkey ones are a little bit bigger here. So take a very sharp knife and you're gonna cut right underneath the tenders. And what you're gonna do is just pull them back slightly. And what this does is it kind of evens out the shape of the turkey. So you wanna repeat this process on the other side here. You're opening this up almost like a book in a way, something a little bit more uniform here. And now what we're going to do is take a piece of plastic wrap and we're going to cover the top using a meat mallet, the smooth side, not the textured side. But we're gonna pound this out into an even thickness. I would say you want this between an inch to maybe an inch and a half in thickness so that it cooks evenly in the oven. So we have a nice even thickness here and you can see the shape almost resembles a butterfly and that's where this technique gets its name from. Now, of course, whenever you're making turkey, whether it's a whole turkey or in this case, a breast, you wanna season the inside of the turkey. You wanna give it a liberal sprinkling of salt and pepper. Don't be shy here. Again, you have about an inch and a half of meat so you really want to make sure that it has that wonderful flavor from all of the salt and pepper. So a good sprinkling. And this is a delicious sausage and uh, pecan stuffing. Uh, it's made with breadcrumbs, so it's a little bit finer in texture, and that's really what you're looking for here. And you can find this recipe on MarthaStewart.com. And you wanna spread this out into a nice even layer. So I have all the stuffing, just spread it and press it down. And now what you're going to do is you're gonna roll this turkey breast up. So starting at the short end, you're going to kind of roll it up as tightly as you possibly can. Turn it around here. And now what we're gonna do, we have a nice compact shape here, is we're gonna take the skin and we're gonna place it over top. And what this does is it protects the meat. It's gonna keep the meat nice and juicy. And of course, as this roasts in the oven, the skin will get a nice golden brown color and it should be pretty crisp, which is what we all love, that crispy skin. To help this roulade, which is what this is called, this roll up here, to stay together during the roasting process, I'm going to use some cheesecloth and some twine to keep it together. I'm gonna to transfer the turkey roulade right to the center of the cheesecloth here. And then all we're going to do is take the cheesecloth. This is a few layers of cheesecloth. You're just gonna wrap it over and then again, roll this. A lot of rolling. And so there you go. 
you have a nice little bundle, a nice little swaddle of turkey here, and take a little bit of kitchen twine, and you're gonna just tie the ends. In classic French cooking school, this technique is called a ballantine, and that means a wrapped rolled roast. And you wanna make sure that your oven is preheated to 375 degrees. I'm just gonna take my knife and trim the ends of my wine here and transfer this to a rimmed baking sheet with a wire rack because what that does is it helps promote even air circulation. And to this, I'm going to add a cup of water and that goes right into the bottom of the pan here. And that's just gonna create a little bit of steam that's gonna help keep your turkey breast nice and moist. Now, another thing that's gonna help keep this wonderfully moist and also really tasty and give you that wonderful brown skin is four tablespoons of softened butter. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna brush this right over the cheesecloth. Now this method, it seems a little weird. I really think you will, in the end, wanna try this. Great recipes. Okay, so this goes into the oven again, 375 degrees in the middle of the oven, and this will roast until an instant read thermometer in the center of the roast is at 165 degrees. That will take almost up to two hours, but you really should check it at about an hour and a half to an hour and 45 minutes. So right into the oven. So our turkey roulade has been out of the oven resting for about 30 minutes. You wanna make sure that you give it a good amount of time to cool slightly and for those juices to redistribute throughout the breast. So just peel back the cheesecloth here, which comes off easily. And there you go, you have a beautiful brown turkey breast here. It looks great. Now gently remove or shimmy the cheesecloth out from underneath the turkey breast, the roulade here. So now the moment of truth here, slicing. Now when you're slicing this, because it does have quite a bit of stuffing in it, you don't want these to be paper thin slices. So about a half inch slices are really great. Use a very sharp knife here, guys. If you let it rest, it will make it much easier to carve too. It's less likely to fall apart. Now, all you need is a nice, beautiful platter and some wonderful herbs to garnish this. And I am sure you will not miss the whole Thanksgiving bird on your table. This is a great alternative, you guys. Have a happy Thanksgiving. And as always, if you have any conundrums, write them in the comment section below. We love to hear from you. Enjoy, guys. Mm -hmm.